Hello, my beautiful Aries. How's everybody doing today? It's your girl, Devon Fam, with Brandy Spiritual Tarot, and I've already got you uh, guys laid out here. So, I meditated over what is coming up for you guys regarding love and finances, because that's what you guys want to know. So, um, I, I don't know, the song, uh, Too Late to Apologize, I'm sure you guys know, y'all have heard that song before, it's Too Late to Apologize, um, that's the song I channeled for somebody. Okay, so I feel like with the first card coming out, we have the moon, you guys. Somebody is finding out something that I feel like they already knew, but they didn't want to believe it. Okay, and whatever this is that you're finding out, I feel like it's causing a shift in your life emotionally. I feel like it's taking you through a... Uh, a whole bunch of waves of different emotions, okay? Maybe that you didn't even know you could feel, okay? I feel like somebody may need to step away from a situation in order to be able to see what is going on. Meaning, um, like, say you're in... Say, you know, there's two people in a situation. You're you're one of those people. You really can't see what's going on unless you, but you go to a friend and it's somebody from the outside looking in because they're not involved. You see what I'm saying, you guys? It's like, you're not seeing something that you can feel intuitively, okay? If that's making sense, Aries. And I feel like it has you... <clears throat> in a wave of emotions, okay? Because we have the world card and the king of cups. This has somehow um, caused some sort of shift in your life, some sort of unexpected turn of events, but in a good way. This is a positive uh, turn of events for you, Aries, okay? I feel like... You could have been dealing with somebody. This could be you or the person you're dealing with. But I see somebody's finances is slipping through their fingers. And I feel like somebody may want to, uh, somebody may have left a job to go to another job. But I feel like somebody may be hesitant to leave a job to, um, um, Help me get it out, spirit. Somebody it may be needing to leave a job to take on something better. Because we have the Ten of Pentacles and the Chariot. The Ten of Pentacles is regarding your finances. And the Chariot is regarding moving forward. Somebody is stagnant right now in regards to uh, finances or in regards to their career. Somebody could have lost a job and they may not be seeing that this is their ticket, this is their chance to move forward to something better, okay? And I, because I feel like this puts somebody in a stagnant energy. The Eight of Wands is in reverse. That's like almost I'm giving up type of energy. Somebody could be ready to give up because somebody just, they could feel like there's nothing else out there for them. There's no other offers. Nobody wants me, um... I'm not going to be able to find another job, like, because this Page of Cups is in reverse. We have the Eight of Wands in reverse and the Page of Cups in reverse. The Page, uh, the Cups represent emotions. I feel like you guys are really in your head, and the Page can also signify an offer somehow. Like, I feel like there may be some sort of offer that you guys are not seeing, and if there's not an offer on the table... I feel like you're not seeing it because of some sort of toxic energy. You guys were in a toxic cycle. Somebody put you in a third party situation right up under the Ten of Pentacles and the Chariot in reverse. We have the Three of Swords and we have the Three of Cups. Somebody played with your emotions. Somebody um, was out here telling you they loved you and they was out here telling somebody else they loved them too. This person could have had a whole nother, and I hate to say this, you guys, I really do. This is not going to resonate with everybody, but somebody had a whole nother family out there. 
Like somebody found out that somebody else had a whole nother family. We got two knights here, you guys. We got the knight of swords and the knight of wands. Both of these are immature. Somebody is coming at you. Um, somebody that's confused. I feel like somebody is wanting to come towards you with some sort of communication. But it's like, I feel like they're going back and forth in their head, Aries. It, like, one minute they may tell themselves, I'm going to text Aries, okay? And they may write out the text, and then they delete it. Like, they don't even push sin. Like, this person wants to talk to you, but I don't even feel like they know what to say. This person with the devil in reverse, they know you're the six of wands. They know you are uh, very ambitious. You're very passionate, okay? You're about your business. You're not um, normally stuck in your emotions. It's only when it comes to people that you guys genuinely care about, okay? That you guys get thrown aside when it comes to your business and your finances, especially your finances but i feel like with this devil in reverse somebody knows that they stepped on your toes and somebody's wanted to come forward to, uh, and speak with you aries but they don't know what to say they don't know what to say this could be you but this could be the person you're dealing with if this is the cross watcher this could be you you could be dealing with an aries that inhabits these traits okay you guys put the energies where they go but with this three of uh, three of swords and the three of cups, somebody broke somebody's heart. Somebody brought one too many people in this relationship. You guys, hold on. Let me get some water. Mm. Guys, to stay hydrated, you guys. Okay. So right now, I feel like somebody may be depressed. Somebody could be heartbroken, like. Somebody is just all up in their head in regards to something that they know is no good for them, okay? Whoever, whatever the situation is, whatever this job is, it's no good for you. It's no good for you. It takes you out of your character, okay? You are bigger than whatever this situation is, Aries. Um, and this read is not going to be long, you guys. I'm going to try to start making these reads a little bit shorter. Uh, but you are bigger than whatever this situation is because now you're realizing that only you can save you. Only you can save yourself, Aries. You're in the hermit energy right now. I believe this is you because you know that you you and God, okay, that's, that's it. You are seriously needing to do some soul searching for yourself right now. And that's what you're doing. You're trying to heal. You're trying to come out of this uh, Three of Swords energy from where this person broke your heart. And I feel like, you know, you could have, some of you, some of you could have lost your job because of this relationship, because of this person feeding on your emotions and your goodness and your kind heartedness. I feel like because I saw the sun at the beginning of the read and it didn't come out. But I feel like somebody knows. And then I pick up the deck, the Nine of Cups. That's you, Aries. That is you. Somebody knows that you are naturally abundant. Okay? But I feel like somebody took you out of your character. Somebody uh, caused you, possibly, this is for a small few of you, to lose your job. But... It wasn't pointless, totally, because everything, nothing is by coincidence, you guys. Everything is by design. So even if you did lose your job because of this person, you need to know that the universe has something better for you in store. Okay? All right, you guys, we're going to get just a few more clarifiers, and then I'm going to get y'all some oracles, and we're going to close this read out for you guys. Um... Let's see, what does my Aries need to uh, know? What advice can you give them in moving forward? The King of Swords came out in reverse. I'm feeling like you guys could be bitter. Or this person, oh, hold on, the Ten of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. You guys, this person, this person's probably going to be coming back. You're going to have to make a decision. And I feel like... You're going to have to be cold with this person, okay? I feel like you're going to have to stand. I don't feel like I know 
You're going to have to stand your ground with this person. You're going to have to. In order for this person to respect you, you're going to have to um, step out of your emotional energy and step more into your dominant energy. Okay? Exactly, because you guys are stuck. Somebody is stagnant, but yet somebody's going through a spiritual awakening. Somebody is being called to step in tune with their full physical body. Like you need to get to know your heart, your mind, your 10 toes, your 10 fingers. Like you need to be in tune with every part of your body, your mind, and your spirit. Right now, you are being called upon a spiritual journey that's initially going to benefit you but right now you need to be patient aries with this temperance you need to be patient and know that there is victory for you there is victory and you may not feel like it but it is what do you need what can my aries do um in the process while they wait because i know some of my aries are feeling uh maybe feeling a little bit anxious right now you guys, I can't make this up. It's already done. The universe already has your golden ticket. This is it, Aries. You worked hard for this. And you may feel as if your hard work has gone unnoticed, but it has not. It hasn't. And I feel like there's somebody... That's watching you. As a matter of fact, Aries, I know somebody's watching you. And I want to uh I want to clarify this devil energy. What is this devil energy in reverse, please, for my Aries? But this will of fortune, you guys. This is new opportunities. This is new blessings. This is uh I'm not gonna say luck because it's not luck. This is blessings from God. It's it's your turn, Aries. You went through a tremendous amount of heartbreak. Um and you're regaining yourself. Yeah, this um, this was a, a lot of conflict. This was a lot of arguing. Whatever this situation was, this was a very toxic situation that you had to get back on top of. It's like you had to conquer this situation because I feel like it took you out of your character. And as I'm saying this, the Queen of Swords is... In reverse, at the bottom of the deck, that's not you, Aries. You are not a B-I-T-C-H. That's not you. You're not. You're an empress. I mean, you're, you're not a queen of swords in reverse. This person made you bitter. And I feel like, yeah, when it comes to this person, you have to be. Because this person will walk all over you. And for those, or if it's for those of you who are dealing with the job, you... You have to be bitter. Like, or you feel that way. But you could kill people with kindness. You don't have to be bitter, Aries. No, you don't. You don't. You could still be your passionate, fiery, um, sunshine. You know, you guys are like little flowers until you get pissed off. And then you guys become like these massive tiger lilies. Like, I mean, <laughs> you guys are, <laughs> I love you guys. Y'all are part of my soul tribe, my fire tribe. You guys are really trying hard to heal because you know. I feel like you guys know you're being divinely guided. Some of you um, may want to go and get, if you can afford it now, if you don't have time, because I do not, I do not recommend people getting animals that do not have time to take care of them. But spirit is telling somebody, if you wanted to get that animal, go get it. If you're going to take care of it because... Animals, um, they help us heal, you guys. They are very healing and very therapeutic, okay? My dog, I rescued him, um, I think maybe when I was like two months pregnant. And he was with me through my whole pregnancy. Like, that dog, that I still have him. This is my best friend, you guys. I feel like somebody's holding on, though. Someone's holding on to the past. Because somebody is very passionate. I don't know if this is you or if this is this other person. But somebody is holding on to this past. Um, I know you're the queen of wands. Exactly. Someone's holding on to you, Aries, because you are their wish fulfillment. 
you are somebody's dream. Somebody is dreaming about you. Somebody, um, somebody does not want to let you go. But I feel like whatever you're doing right now, you're doing it for your greater good. With this Five of Cups, you know that something has to change. You know that you have to cut this person off emotionally. Because if not, this person is going to um, take you off of your path. Out of your, away from your spiritual calling. I feel like for you, this person could be like a moth to a flame. And I said that in one of my other videos. What was it? Uh, it was the Sagittarius or the Gemini. You guys could be dealing with the air sign or uh, an earth sign, okay? But I feel like there's a lot of passion between you two. I feel like the sex is really great. Like, this is probably the best partner you've ever had in your entire life. It's like you guys can feel each other, okay? You guys are almost telepathic with each other. Like, when this person is not around, you can feel this person for some of you, okay? This person may be your twin flame, but that doesn't mean that you're supposed to be with them, okay? Because the divine is about to give you something much greater, Okay, and this is not something that everybody can go with you. You cannot take everybody along with you, Aries. Okay, that is something that is meant for you, my loves, because you deserve it. Okay, you are passionate. You are loving. You are loyal. Okay, all of this red, red represents love. Red and pink, you guys are nurturing. See the animals? There's a cat in the picture right here. She's got her little cat. But you guys are not to be messed with either, okay? You guys are not to be played with. Because when you guys do find your strength, it might take you guys a minute to get there. Especially in regards to somebody that you guys really care about. It might take you guys a minute to get there, but you guys don't play. You're not going to play with when it comes to you, yourself and someone else. You guys are going to choose you. You're going to choose you because you love yourself more. And you should. You should, okay? I'm proud of you, Aries. Um, I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. Um, you guys are awesome. What can my Aries expect? I know y'all hear my baby girl back there scream. <laughs> She's talking, y'all. She's bonding her voice. What can my Aries expect coming up regarding their finances, please? Holy Spirit, holy angels. Give me something regarding their finances, please. I feel like, y'all, this Ace of Cups wanted to come out in reverse, but I was not about to turn it out in reverse. I did not want to do that. Somebody's afraid. Somebody could be afraid to go after their uh, wish fulfillment because somebody is still feeling left out in the cold. Somebody is holding back from moving forward towards their wish fulfillment because somebody still, still feels bitter. Somebody is still bitter. Somebody is still angry. Okay, baby, you're, whoever I'm talking to, in order for you to get this new beginning, this new blessing, this abundance, love, money, joy, and it's not just about the money, you guys. The best ultimate gift that you could ever hope to receive is inner peace, eternal joy, something that a lot of people will never have because they just don't know how. They don't. And once you have that, you guys, you don't need anything else. You really don't. Everything is provided for you. Imagine not even having a job, but not having to worry about how your bills are going to be paid or how you're going to get by from day to day. Because let me tell you, I'm, I'm a testimony, Aries. I don't have, this is what I do. And most of this is nonprofit, okay? My bills get paid every month. And I don't I don't have no sugar daddy. I'm not out here doing illegal stuff. Like, I work my butt off. I This is what I do. I followed my calling. I stepped into my passion. 
I had to go through a dark night of the soul. I had to go through a spiritual awakening. I had to go through a spiritual warfare. I had to go through all of that to be where I am now, to learn and to know the things that I know now. And I'm still not where I want to be, you guys. I'm nowhere near where I want to be. And things are still hard for me. Yeah, I'm at a better place in my life now, much better than I thought my life would ever be by listening to my divine, by listening to God, by letting my angels and my spirit guides guide me instead of resisting against what they were telling me to do. And let me tell you guys, some of you are not having sex and it's bothering you. And I hate to say it, but you guys, sometimes we have to put on our big boy and our big girl panties, okay? You guys are being asked to get, this is for somebody. Somebody is going to have to get to know somebody else on the inside, okay? Before, because somebody is used to jumping in relationships in the past. Somebody is used to jumping into relationships. And it's not because you're stupid. It's not because of anything negative. It's just because you have a big heart. A lot of you are empaths. A lot of you have um, a lot of love to give. And with that being said, a lot of you attract the wrong people, which is why it is so important for you guys to tap into your gift. And you're not tapped in with the queen of wands in reverse. You are lagging in your spirituality. And before you guys are going to stay in this cold energy, y'all are going to stay in this energy until y'all start learning how to manifest. You have everything you need, but I'll tell you what you don't need. That's the wrong people in front of your face, talking behind your back. You can feel if somebody means you well or not, because most of you guys are empaths. So you can feel people's energies. I know a lot of you can, okay? You guys, go check out my uh, Facebook group page. It's called The Chosen Ones, Brandy spiritual tarot and spiritual warfare group okay you guys go check that out on facebook um that is where you guys can just come and be yourselves if you guys want to learn more about your gifts and who you are you guys come there and it's a no judgment zone okay i don't tolerate bullying of any kind it's not it's not tolerated but i feel like you guys are really needing to learn who you are you guys have not fully stepped into some of you, your spirituality and your spirituality is what is going to bring you this overflowing abundance. Look at this. This is meant to be yours, Aries. That is meant to be yours. And as long as you guys keep yourself in this cold energy, okay, that's where you're going to stay at. You guys have got to get some, uh, some action. I need you guys to find your passion again, okay? Change the things that you're doing every day. If you guys are laying around in bed, if you guys are not going to work, if you y'all just find something to do. Stop sitting here fronting over this, okay? This person what's meant to be will come back around, you guys. It'll come back around. And I just told you this person, they're gonna want to come back and offer you something. But guess what, Aries? You have got to get yourself right first because if you're not right with yourself, your relationship's not going to be right either. If you don't know who you really are, then your person, how do you expect them to get to know who you really are? If you don't even really know who you are, you see what I'm saying? All right. I love you guys. Let me get y'all some oracles. Let's see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what advice can you give? I hear you, Poo Poo. What advice can you give my Aries for their inner spirit guidance? What do you have for their inner spirit guidance, please? For my beautiful Aries. The great severing, Mars energy, anger, conflict, softening to love. 
Didn't I just tell you, thank you, Holy Spirit, come through. Spirit always comes through. It never fails. My cars don't lie. My energy don't lie. My God don't lie. Somebody is needing to sever a tie that is bringing them nothing but conflict. Somebody is meant to be in the light and somebody is stuck in the dark and they cannot find their way out to this light because they are refusing to let go of this person. I feel like somebody's taking the long road that you don't have to take. Look, y'all, this, this card is so, look, I don't know if y'all can see this, but there's like a black valley. Y'all see the, uh, the valley right here. It's like somebody has to take this long road, but look, there's a diamond right here. It's right here. All they got to do is walk over to it. Somebody, the answer is right there. Oop, y'all, hold on. I messed my camera up. Hold on. Somebody's answers are right there in front of them, but they're not wanting to, uh, it's not that they're not wanting to see it. I feel like somebody does not want to go through the pain. It's like when you get used to, to not being alone, you get used to being with somebody. And it's hard to learn how to live on your own again. But you guys are going to be okay. Somebody is being guided. And if you're in a situation to where you can't leave, because I'm getting that some of you may be stuck. Some of you can't maybe can't leave what you can do while you're there is work on your spirit okay you guys can start meditating start praying start asking for discernment and then you guys start asking for a way for a way ask for a way out ask you don't even have to ask for a way out just ask that god show you where you're supposed to be ask him to remove the people in your life that are not supposed to be there. And then ask him to place the people in your life that are supposed to be there. Ask him to bring you your soul tribe, okay? That is what I want you you guys to do for that portion of you, okay? Is there anything else that you have? I want to get one more for you guys. Um, because it, it feels like some of you may be in quite a dark place. Some of you may be having to wait. It's not time yet. Things are being woven. What did I tell you? Somebody is still needing to get something. Somebody is not seeing something. You can't have this blessing just yet until you become one with yourself. You got to know where you're going in life first. You can't keep giving your time, your energy, your money, your love to the wrong people that don't appreciate it because it's wearing you out. I told you, some of you guys are empaths. Some of you guys are light workers. It says it right here. Em empath, star seed, energetic so so variety, absorbing what's not yours. The problem with you guys being empath, and I've got to say this real uh, real fast because my camera's going to cut off. The problem with a lot of you being empath is that you feel other people's energies. If you don't know what empath is, you could be in a room full of people and you may get anxious for no reason. And you don't know why you're feeling anxious. It's because you're getting in all these mixed signals. Somebody over here may be sad. Somebody over here may be angry. Somebody over here may be, you know, ecstatic. Like, you're getting in all these energies from people. You feel their emotions. And what happens then is you want to start fixing it. Like, people who are not whole. People who are depressed. People who, who you just feel like, oh, I, I can tell them what's wrong with them. But because I can feel it. That's that's what it is. You guys are empaths. And the problem is because, y'all, I did it my whole life trying to fix other people when I needed to fix myself, y'all. I'm still working on myself. Look at how she's looking in the mirror. Some of you need to take a look in the mirror. Work on yourself because you are taking in energies that do not serve you. Yes, you are as an empath meant to serve this world a greater purpose. Yes, you are meant to help people, but you can't help nobody until you help yourself first, Aries. Baby, you got to help yourself first because you can't, if you're not in your right mind, if you don't know what you're talking about, how can you help somebody else through what they're going through? If you cannot practice what you preach, you see what I'm saying? 
That's why I said everything that you guys do from this moment forward, it needs to be through the guidance of your divine. Okay, you're almighty because that is the only way that you guys are going to get on the right path that you guys are yearning for. Some of you are yearning for home. This is where you're going to find it. I'm not trying to tell you guys what to do. But for those of you who are looking for something, who just can't ever seem to, to get right, this is what you're missing. You're missing your soul tribe. You're missing your calling. You're missing your purpose. And your divine is trying to uh, share that with you. They're trying to help you guys. All right. Angel romance for my Aries. There's going to be somebody coming along or this could be the person you're dealing with. I told you chemistry. There's a strong energetic magnetic attraction between the two of you. Um, let me get one more for you. Will there be love in the near future for my beautiful Aries? What is this one that wanted to come out? Children, your love life is being affected by children. So some of you may not be able to date because you have kids. Um, everything is going to work itself out and somebody is needing to release their eggs. The time has come to clear your energy. What did I just say, you guys? Somebody's got to clear their energy out. You guys are going to have to fix uh, yourselves right now. I don't see, you guys may have chemistry with somebody, but if this is someone you truly care about, I would uh, work on myself before I opened up too much to this person. Work on yourself, fix yourself, and let your uh, spirit guides let you know when it's ready, when you're ready, okay? All right, I love you guys. Um, Y'all remember to be someone's blessing and not their problem. You guys remember whatever you put out into the universe, you get it back in, okay? If y'all want to book a personal read, it's in the description box down below. If y'all want to donate or support, that's in the description box down below as well, all right? Mwah. I love you guys. Bye.